student at NYU. I, well, basically, I'm looking for Waldo. I haven't always been looking for Waldo, to be honest. Um, I actually had this period where I was looking for Jesus. Um, but, hey, we all have periods where we're embarrassed to talk about, you know. It's embarrassing. So, uh, then I came out of that period and I, I found Waldo. I found Waldo, you know, on every page of this book. And every page of every other book. I mean, I have him circled so I can find him quickly. Just to make sure I can always find him wherever I go, wherever he might be. Um, see, here he is at the uh, Fun and Games in Ancient Rome. Yeah, so it's like quick reference, that kind of thing. Here he is again. Here he is again. So I've known Hannah for about a year and a half now. Um, we met freshman year, we lived on the same floor. And I always used to go to her apartment to peel my apples. Uh, so whenever I was at her place, we'd always look for Waldo. And it was, it was, it was kind of odd because she'd always have Waldo circled. So it's like, where's Waldo? And it's, it's already circled. So it was, yeah. And um, Hannah had this idea that there was a legend around Waldo actually living in Bope's library. Which is absolutely ridiculous because, I mean, Waldo doesn't exist. How do you look for some cartoon character? I mean, is it is it is it some desire to, to be Waldo? Is it some desire for Waldo to be inside you? Uh, is it... <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a sophomore. I'm 19 years old. I was Hannah's next door neighbor last year. Well, Hannah's kind of a hard girl to understand a lot of the time anyway. So when she says things about, you know, like, finding Waldo or looking for Waldo at NYU, like, no one really takes her very seriously. It's like, you know, a common Hannah thing. She's a little bit on the edge most of the time. Um, but, you know, it, we, we can only let it go so far before we start to realize, like, maybe, maybe she actually does have, like, an obsession with finding Waldo, or maybe she, I don't know, there, there might be a screw loose up there somewhere. I don't really know. I found out through some details I don't want to really share with you just because legal reasons um, that he was definitely accepted in going here. And I, stand, I see him standing outside 721 Broadway all the time. He's smoking a cigarette and he's, um, you know, listening to his iPod. So, so here I am and I'm looking for Waldo. And I'm actually, you know, I'm getting really close now. I've been basically doing, I've been doing my homework. And I don't just mean academics. <laughs> um, I've been, you know, following him. I found out where he lives. I, uh, I've been, you know, working on trying to figure out what his schedule is exactly. And um, I think I've almost got it. So today's the big day, and uh, basically, I've been monitoring the situation, you know, tracking things down. So here we sit, waiting for him. It's 5.30, we have about a half an hour window here to set up the plan. I think it's brilliant. I brought Rich along here, my friend. What's up? Uh, to sort of, you know, help me out here. So. The plan was to sit at the side of the library and just wait for him to to come out and then you know I know he walks through the park um, to get to Epstein or Weinstein either way. Let me just get out your supplies. I'm gonna go run hide. Okay? With the rope. And uh, here's the banana. Just basically just tie this in a loop. You know what to do. Go hide, pull the rope when he comes out. What's this for? It's big. Why a banana? Everybody likes bananas, Rich. I asked Rich to help me find Waldo. Um, I just knew he could be counted on, basically. But, you know, it's funny. Even though he's, he, you know, he's always willing to help me and everything, especially with when it comes to Waldo, 
Well, maybe not especially. But, uh, you know, I always feel like he really doesn't kind of grasp the gravity of finding Waldo. I mean, he really doesn't get it to the extent that I would hope he would. You know, I, I, being such a, such a close friend, I just, you know, I, I just always hope that my friends really understand where I'm coming from. And I just feel like sometimes he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Well, I first spotted Waldo walking out of the library, you know, with that hat and those glasses. So, and he started walking toward me, and my heart was just, you know, going a mile a minute. And uh, then, and then, he, you know, I was worried he wasn't going to take the same route. I mean, <laughs> is it going to happen? With a strategy like this, there are any number of things that could go wrong, and all of a sudden, you know, your plan is down the tubes. And you can't use it again, because he's, you know... He's going to know. He's going to know that it wasn't just, you know, a coincidence that this happened. I mean, how many times is a banana lying in the middle of a rope, you know, in the middle of the ground? I mean, that's just so rare, right? So, I mean, like, maybe once every month, I would say. If that, really. So, anyway, so you know, and then he, he walked around to his normal route. And, you know, my I, I just felt like my heart was just, like, up here in my throat, you know? I mean, I, I was just freaking out, you know? So he, you know, he, he started walking toward the, the bait, if you will, and, um, and he sort of stopped and he kind of, he kind of hid behind a tree. Well, it was really exciting. I mean, I'm just going to say that right out. It was really exciting, the whole process of just catching him. But, you know, we set it up, the banana was right there. And uh, then I was, I was waiting behind my trash can, my post, if you will. Well, you know, he, he took the banana, and Rich got him, you know, and he was down on the ground, and I was just, I was so excited. I mean, the plan had worked. Oh my god, we did it! Wait. Now what? Uh... What was I going to do with him? I suppose I could I could I could keep him. I could but I mean I don't have the time to feed him and I, I don't know, what do people like him need? To walk him? I mean I don't have that kind of time. No. There have been rumors going around lies basically. That, uh, that I have him in a bag in my closet. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Mm -hmm.